You don't mind. Nah, I'm not gonna do this. Not at all. Please, please, Silviana, record all you want. That's that combined with that will be very, very good, I think. <laughs> Couple things. Um, yeah, Blackboard had a rampage with some of my 105 students this weekend. I don't know what's going on. Um, I apologize if Blackboard's giving you grief. Uh, if there's still an issue with submissions, just see me at break. I had a bunch of people hand me in hard copies because they're having a hard time converting to PDF. I could have sworn we'd have all this squared away by week two. But uh, yeah, anyway, if, if anything if anything is giving you grief with that. Also, if there are question issues, Haley, you brought up a very good point. Thank you for that, sister. If you guys don't think you got the correct grade on an assessment, just shoot me a note, let me look. I'll go into Blackboard and look. Chances are you're right. I mean, if, if anecdote, if historical anecdote is consistent, when you guys have an issue with your grade, you're usually right. Because what happens is, and it's, it's one of those interesting statistical things, right? It's, we grade, whether it's an exam that I'll be grading in a couple days, whether it's the quizzes that Fran graded last week, and we get about 99% of them spot on. And we screw up about 1%. And that's what we hear from. 100% of our comments are from the students that got marked points off. I want to hear from you because I want to give you the grade you deserve. But I, I can't know that unless you tell me something's wrong. So, you see what I'm getting at? Yeah. So if you, got, if you lost points you didn't deserve, just shoot me an or, or that you think you shouldn't have lost. Let me know. Of course, I want to go back and look at it. Now, Haley had it on her phone. I could actually look and be like, oh, yeah, your points for some of those. Happily. And, but sometimes I don't. Like, sometimes I go back in and I'm like, well, actually, it should be this because of here. And then we have a discussion. And then learning takes place, I hope, which is the whole point. I want you to learn. I want you to learn. That's, that's the most important thing. I want you to be able to go out and, and utilize the information you get from the world in, in a good way. Kind of a point, hopefully. So, Blackboard unfortunately gets in the way of that sometimes. <clears throat> Apologies, but please, Trinity. So, we can't figure out how to turn it in, you can press down for you. I didn't say that. <laughs> uh, that was prefaced by an, 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 an implied I want you to submit it correctly. But, worst case scenario, if you're having a hard time getting something in, just talk to me. And I'll either help you. Now, remember, too, because I, we have five more weeks to live with this with each other. <laughs> Blackboard. I'm not, I'm not going to stop using Blackboard halfway through. That just, it sounds like a bigger, yeah, I, I'm with Joanne. But remember on the assessment page, I've given you a number of links that show you how to convert to PDF form. Cute PDF is by and large my favorite third party software to convert. Did you guys see that link I sent? I, I emailed it to you and I also put it on the assessment page. Cute PDF, it's a free download. It is clean. I downloaded it and put it on my computer. It worked, no viruses that I know of. Um, it works brilliantly. You can convert JPEG to PDF, doc to PDF, open source, open office to PDF. It all works great. So that's what, try that, Trinity, because I want to keep the Blackboard thing so cute. cute PDF. Look at the assessment page. I got a link for you on there. Joanne. Just give it back. <laughs> for those who want a free option, if you want to pay 5,000 bucks, totally fine. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Max are great. Max are better. I know. I just recorded demos on a 20-year-old Mac G4. I know it works great. Is it worth paying that money for just one class? I don't think so. Oh no. No, that's what I'm trying to get you a solution to each of this class. Fair. I'm trying to band-aid it. For life, a Macintosh is wonderful. It just doesn't play well with others when it comes to educational uh, software. That's the problem. Well, I don't know who. I, I, well, anyway, that's my. We'll stop. We'll stop with that. I don't want to get too far. No, I, I see what you're saying, Joanne. So, that's Blackboard. Remember, you got your exam for Wednesday. You got quizzes too if you want to crack into them. You, by all means, you don't have to. I mean, I, I've been tracking your guys' quiz completion rate. You guys are doing great. I mean, some of you are more than halfway finished your quiz load for the term, which is fantastic, right? That's why on the progress reports, I put, remember, you still have bleh, more to do. And blah, just tells you how many you got you to turn in. So you're doing great. I've been watching that. Some of you might want to step it up. A couple of you only have one in. There'll be enough. I mean, I've got an in-class one planned for today. Yay. Yay. Wahoo. Wow. So, but there'll be plenty more, but just don't rely on there being plenty more because then you end up getting bitten week nine when you're like, oh, I got a term paper to write. I got to experiment and I got to get five quizzes in for rule because it's a bastard. So just remember, I'm trying to give you plenty to give you a cushion for later, because I know how the term tends to get. So, cool. You guys have any questions about that kind of administrative stuff? Anything bothering you that we can fix right now? Okay. Fair enough. We can try. I mean, sometimes we can. Not often, though. Uh, oh, I will. I will offer this. Speaking of, we can try to fix this. One student was was in tears in 105. 
because she was trying to get her grade from the Blackboard gradebook. Don't do that. Please, don't do that. You can look at Blackboard to see what Fran's comments or what my comments will be on your exams, but do not try to get your grades from Blackboard. That's why I email you the progress report. Blackboard's not gonna have the in-class quizzes. It's not gonna have any grade that I fixed. I don't trust Blackboard's grade calculator. It can't do the math I need it to do. It, I can't put conditional statements, for example, in Blackboard. I can't keep track of extra credit points or rainy day points in Blackboard. It's got a very 1980s-esque spreadsheet. Please, Andrea. If your grade's wrong in Blackboard, like a thing she's not even As long as it's right in the progress report, I email you. That's all that matters. That's what I keep. That's what I submit for your midterms. That's what I submit for your final. Yes, yeah, so as long as the email you're getting from me looks good, we're good. Cool? Yeah. I understand it's a little clunky because it's got all the spaces for quizzes sitting there and some of them haven't been done yet. You're going to keep adding to them every week, but that's that's kind of the that's the holy grail of where your grade is. If that's right, then you're right. If, no, if that's right, then I'm putting the right grade in, I should say that. If that's right, you're, you're fine regardless. Like the holy grail of sprinting? <laughs> yes. Very much so. Yes. How's the exam going, by the way? Pretty good? Getting there? Getting there? We can chat the break. We can chat the break. Yeah. That just no. means I'm making you think. That makes me happy. No, it no. means that no. I had to download. She has color issues. I had to download a ruler app because I couldn't find my ruler. <laughs> That's just you could have just made a ruler up. Yeah, you could have yeah, just taken a piece of paper and divided it into increments. It doesn't matter what unit you use. Make up a unit called the J for Joanne. Just it's 20 J's or 21 J's. Look at this. This is adorable. Cardinal health. It's flexible. We, we test um, TV, TV tests on the Perfect. Oh, <laughs> did you prick them and then see how much it, how big the uh, inflame? Oh, that's cool. I'm sorry. I guess I could have done like a little syringe <laughs> for my baby. You could have done that. Yes. I mean, the thing about measurement, the thing about measurement is it doesn't matter what unit you use. How tall are you, Sean? I am one tall. One what? One Sean. One Sean. That's my unit of measurement, right? You can, you can, you can define any measurement you want as long as you're consistent with it. Yeah! And that's, that's what scientists do. You totally can. Do that. You totally can. You totally can. As the, that's why I even mentioned it in the exam. It doesn't matter what unit you use. I used millimeters because the circles were so small. I think millimeters made the most sense. Plus, with millimeters, you don't worry about the stupid sixteenths of an inch. You just go, oh, it's 20 or it's 18 or it's 16 or blah, blah, blah. blah. I think so. Yeah. Uh, more, more precision, I think. I think we get both, Scott, but we get both more with the smaller increment, I think. Yeah. Uh, All right.